Hello everyone and God bless you all. The first thing I want to bring to mind are uh, our brothers and sisters in America and uh, just like to like all of you to remember them this week and pray for them and uh, God bless America and God help them through this time in Jesus name. Now I've just been reading through Matthew and uh, I just want to read a few things that Jesus spoke and you know if you go in the Bible most Bibles have uh, the words of Jesus in red so everything I'm reading here and it, I'll be reading from Matthew 5 um, bits and pieces from Matthew 5 up to Matthew 9 um, to encourage you and and to share the love of God and the love of Jesus. Now Matthew 5, 8, 9 it says, Blessed are the pure of heart, for they shall see God. So here's Jesus in these passages. He's, he's speaking out the way you should live, the things you should do, and how to become children of God and to draw yourselves closer to God and so blessed are the pure of heart for they shall see God I thought that was very important and blessed are the peacemakers for they shall be called sons of God now Jesus is saying that we can inherit sonship we can become part of the family and Matthew 5:44. 45 it says but I say to you love your enemies bless those who curse you do good to those who hate you and pray for those who spitefully use you and persecute you so these this is the way you need to you need to um, walk this way in order to become sons of God that you may be sons of the Father in heaven. Therefore, you shall be perfect just as your Father is in heaven is perfect. So, we're living in this, in this flesh. It's corrupted by sin. But God, our Jesus himself is saying, there will be a day coming that you will be made perfect just as God is perfect but you've got to walk the line and you've got to believe in Jesus, believe these words and trust in Jesus for your salvation. But seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things shall be added to you. Now how do you receive this and where's the, the, the starting point for all of this? Well first thing you need to do is come to God in repentance, acknowledge your sins and and ask forgiveness so you can be cleansed from all your unrighteousness, your iniquity and your sins. And in Matthew 6, 14, 15 it says, For if you forgive men their trespasses, your Father in heaven will also forgive you. So if you've got an unforgiving heart, there's no way you're going to, going to become sons of God and be accepted into the kingdom and part of God's family. So the first step for you to do is to upload your, 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 your hurts and your sorrows, your griefs, give them to Jesus. He carried them all on the cross. He bore them. He was stricken and he shed his blood to pay for your sins. He suffered the pain so you can become sons of God. So in order for you, your first step is to go to God in forgiveness, receive his forgiveness, and when you receive that forgiveness, what happens, that will help you uh, and you'll have a better understanding because of the love that you've been filled with to reach out and forgive the people that have hurt you. 
that's the first step. So remember, but if you do not forgive men their trespasses, neither will your Father forgive your trespasses. Once you've, once you've repented and, and uh, you've been convicted of your sins and you come to God, what you need to do is ask, and it says, ask and it will be given to you. Then it says, seek and you will find and knock and the door and it will be open to you. And then it goes on to say further on that it says, enter by the narrow gate, that's through Jesus. For wide is the gate and broad is the way that leads to destruction and there are many who go in by it. And that's the wide road, the broad way to hell. And the only way to avoid that, the detour, is Jesus, the narrow way. Because narrow is the gate and difficult is the way which leads to life. And we're talking about eternal life here and there are few who will find it. The key is Jesus. Jesus said that no one comes to the Father except through me. Jesus is the narrow gate. He's the narrow way. He's the key to the door of heaven and the kingship and sonship of the kingdom of God. Now in Matthew 7, 21 it says, Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, shall enter the kingdom of heaven, but he who does the will of the Father in heaven. So I'm giving you an overview of what you need to do. You need to be peacemakers. You need to be a forgiving person. Um, and walk in the, the, the laws and the statutes. And then Jesus said, and then I will declare to them. God bless you, brother. Then I will declare, then I will declare to them, I never knew you. Depart from me, you who practice lawlessness. So you've got to learn to be obedient to God and do what the Father tells you to do. If you don't do that, you're walking in lawlessness and Jesus will just say, I don't know you. Depart from me, you who practice lawlessness. Jesus actually gave us a parable that says, even so every good tree bears good fruit, but a bad tree bears bad fruit. A good tree cannot bear bad fruit, nor can a bad tree bear good fruit. Every tree that does not bear good fruit is cut down and thrown into the fire. So I'm giving you encouragement to come to the Lord, but I'm also letting you know what happens if you, if you don't make a decision for Jesus Christ. Therefore, by their faith, you will know them. Jesus is the tree. We are the branches. We're drafted into, into Jesus to bear good fruit. That happens when we surrender and we are born again, we're made new, and we're drafted into the into the tree of life. Jesus says in Matthew 9, 13, but go and learn what this means. He was talking to the Pharisees here. I desire mercy and not sacrifices, for I did not come to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. So that the message here is, to come into repentance, ask God to forgive your sins, be cleansed, and receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit and be born again and be entered entered into the Lamb's Book of Life and drafted in the tree of life into Jesus. In Matthew 9, 17 it says, Nor do they put new wine into old wineskins, or else the wineskins break. The wine is spilled and the wineskins are ruined. But they put new wine into new wineskins and both are preserved. Now what we're talking about here, the old wineskin represents mankind and the central state of, man, of mankind. 
The new white skin represents the people who have surrendered to God and are born again and made new. And then they are filled with new wine. And the new wine is the Holy Spirit. So you need the baptism of the Holy Spirit. And the only way you can, you can carry the Spirit is to be born again, to be made, as this says, a new wine skin. But it says, and both are preserved. What are we preserved for? Well, if you're not carrying the Holy Spirit, you're not going to pres be preserved for eternity with God. So, the new white skin is the new person that's been made new by the blood of Jesus Christ when you're born again. And it's the Holy Spirit that protects you, walks with you and preserves you to the very last day of this day that you live on, the, the day you take your last breath and you cross over to eternity as the Son of God to live eternity with Jesus and the saints. And you can have that right now today if you'll acknowledge Jesus coming in repentance and surrender making Jesus your Lord and your Saviour. So the message here today is acknowledge you're a sinner, repent, ask God's forgiveness, acknowledge Jesus, ask him into your heart, be born again and receive the, and be preserved by the Holy Spirit. And that happens when you're born again. After all, in John 3, 3, Jesus said, Verily, verily, I say unto you, unless you're born of the Spirit, you will not see the gates of heaven, and you will not enter the gates of heaven. So I'm sharing this prayer, and it's an invitation. Make Jesus your Lord and your Saviour today. Become a child of God, and receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, say this with us. I repent of my sin. Jesus died for me, that he was crucified, that he rose again from the dead. Jesus, come into my heart and cry out to Jesus now and say, I make you my Lord and my Saviour. Come into my heart, send your Holy Spirit and receive the Holy Spirit and the love of God in Jesus' name. Amen.